Yeah, I mean, we you can't do anything about it. And, you know, it was a long two days, um, you know, but you, you got to play. And I thought our guys responded pretty well. Uh, first half, uh, we battled, you know, they made some, I think it was four three-pointers in the first half that were under three or two seconds, including the one at the end of the half. Um, and yet we kept battling and we gave ourselves a chance, obviously the one at the end of the half, and then they start the half, second half uh, with a good run. Not only, uh, I thought the biggest thing for me was that they were very physical defensively. And it, it kind of got our guys uh, a little rattled. Uh, we didn't keep our poise, had some bad possessions. Uh, first half, we were able to get some transition points, some fast break points. Still ended up 15 to five, but uh, second half, uh, they, you know, they were efficient on offense, didn't turn it over quite as much maybe. And then, the, uh, you know, we had to play more half court def or more half court offense and they kind of got us rattled a little bit and that's where they made the nice run. Um, you know, I, the, our radio guys asked me before the game, what's the key? And I said, yeah, they don't make threes and they go 10 for 23 and hit some big ones, including the banker for the young man that hasn't made one all year. So sometimes, you know, you, you can't control it. One at two games in a row at the end of the half on uh, some scramble plays and, um, uh, you know, you just always, this is, now it's a test of our character, our grit, our senior leadership to see how we can respond. We got a un tough week uh, ahead. Uh, you got three top, top 25 teams coming up in the stretch here, so it is not going to get any easier. Which one was offense just so hard to come right now? Dude, I think they're, they give credit to them. They, they guarded the heck out of their physical. They bumped us off our cuts. They blitzed the ball screen. Jericho Sims is really an unbelievable athlete. Um, plays so hard. He's, you know, you got to give him credit. He, he, he's took, been very patient. You know, had to sit behind some pretty good players, and uh, man, he can move his feet. And he's, and then, and then Hepa was is long. Uh, it seemed like every time, even when we got to the to the basket, uh, they were still able to, uh, you know, contest shots and and make it tough on us. So uh, I thought maybe some move movement. Get our guys moving. Maybe, uh, maybe some ball screens to you know get them the pressure loosened up. But uh, we just didn't have enough. I think you all limited yourself to taking 15 threes tonight with going to the basket and being aggressive. Something that was intentional. Yeah, and we still only got nine free throws. But it, it's something I've talked about. Yeah, obviously, the last two games, 37 and four for 20, and and the game before that. And you know, I, I'll I don't if we're wide open threes, fine. Um, but, you know, and I, I kept telling Cardi, he gets to the hoop first half, makes a layup or, you know, gets, makes a, a nice play, um, even if our big guys don't make the finish. But attacking the defense is, is much better than just settling and doing a, a step back three with eight, nine seconds left. And, and we, we got to keep attacking and, and get to the free throw line. Uh, we had Hepa in foul trouble. We kept talking about get, you know, get him in ball screens where he had to guard people in the first half. And, we just could never get him to three. Uh, obviously, Antonio missed the last game and then played 14 tonight. How is he doing physically? He's fine. Uh, you know, it, it, you know, we have not had continuity with those guys with Monte and and um, Antonio. But you know, it is what it. We can't can't fight injuries, can't fight travel, can't fight weather. It's part of the game. And uh, you know, it, it. I thought, you know, he's he, again just to get back as a freshman, get back into rhythm. You know, he missed that first shot. Now he's hesitating, you know, and I, I, I waited a while. I didn't say much uh, with those two guys, um, Antonio and Monte, but obviously they're not shooting the ball well from three. Now re if you're going to replace and be open, shoot a 17-footer, you know, drive to the basket. We've tried to work on that. And uh, I thought Monte played his butt off, uh, you know, didn't, didn't back down eight points, five rebounds. Uh, Couple steals. Dejuan loves to play. Plays with a passion. Uh, you know he, 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 that dude doesn't quit, and uh, you know he's got the heart of a lion, and, and that's why you love him. And we just, I think he's slowly but surely going to become our leader. Cartier led the team in points, but had some mistakes up there too. How did you just? Well, he's just got to be a little more efficient. You know, it's just again two for four from the free throw line, zero for three from three. I thought a couple of those threes, you know. 
make the right plays, you know, and, and he gets frustrated when he makes a nice pass and they don't make a layup or they don't catch the ball or whatever it might be. But uh, he's he's got to, you know, I told him the other day, if you're a ball player, you, you take what the game gives you. Every game is different depending on the defense. And, uh, you know, I, I thought he competed a little harder tonight. Uh, and and that's that's a big key for us if, if we're going to make progress. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't easy. I mean, we we moved practice up yesterday. Uh, we thought maybe we would beat this, the ice. Uh, you know, what's the old saying? When it rains, it pours. Well, it was pouring ice, and uh, uh, it it literally was. I, I I don't with thunder and lightning, and I went outside. There's at least a half an inch of ice on my window. Um, I was soaking wet because it was pouring and it was icing. So it's just the weirdest phenomenon I've ever been part of. Um, we brought him back last night and had our little team meeting and fed him something because we had to try to stay in our routine. Obviously, this morning was not fun because we got to the airport at 8 and uh, we have a mechanical and we sit there for an hour and a half. And, uh, you know, we had to do something. So we went back to our practice facility to have a little walkthrough and then then they told us to come back to the airport. So we get back to the airport, we got a plane, but then we sit on that plane for two hours. So uh, not a fun day, uh, but, you know, it, it, Texas didn't care. They sure didn't feel sorry for us. Bruce, is, it, is it true that that was, the, that was the plane that went back and got Baylor and brought Baylor back? Well, we, we um, yeah. our plane had a mechanical. Baylor's plane was at Kansas City. It was iced in. It could not move it. And we, that's finally, they got it. It warmed up a little bit. I don't know how you'd, I think the wheels were locked in the ground, to be honest. And they, they finally came over and got us. Um, and then I don't know if they had to go get Baylor or whatever. I text Scott actually after the game and I said, I hope you get home safely. So, cause you know, I knew we had their plane, but uh, you know, a tough day, you know, it's just, but it is what it is. Come with passion, come with grit, come with, you know, toughness, come to fight. You're at home, play with a passion, you know, and that's, that's all you can do. I think after the last game, you said something about not, you know, not yelling at the guys, but coaching them. Are there a similar kind of conversation with the assistants about, you know, no wholesale changes? Well, I don't, like I mean, wholesale changes, I don't know. We, you know, Mike finally, I'm happy Mike finally made a basket, got a steal. Uh, obviously, his, his turnovers, um, you know, have hurt us uh, lately. He's just he's, he's not playing with a lot of confidence, and we need everyone to play well. We need Mac. He can't get shots blocked by guards, and um, you know Xavier. I thought lost his poise in the second half, and you know you talked about Cardi, and and you know we're gonna we can't we're not good enough not to have everyone give us something and and be consistent, and um, you know I obviously I didn't think it would be this hard. Uh, but um, it, it's uh, it's been a little tougher, and, and all you know. Again, like I said the other day, all I can do is help them and the coaches. And that doesn't mean we're not going to be on them and be demanding. But uh, you know, we uh, you know we got to still help them, and we got a, a really tough stretch coming up. Obviously. How did uh, X feel after that nasty call? I, I I you know he's he's been boogered up for about two and a half three weeks. He took a fall. I think I think it was St. Louis game. Um, he's had a lot of treatments and massage and all that stuff, and I think he kind of landed on that again. So it's, uh, you know, it, it's it's tough. He, you know, but you know he'll come back and compete. And um, you know, I just hope uh, we can they can have a good mindset. And and you know, tomorrow obviously we can't do much, but uh, it's I just talked about a lot of mental preparation, knowing what Texas Tech being ready for that, and then Monday a good. Good sharp practice and come with a great passion on Tuesday night. And maybe we'll hit some three-pointers off the glass. <laughs>